Hey, time for gameplay. Yeah. And we got Tiger Stripe. Yep. Tiger Stripe is pretty cool. Tiger Stripe is the best. Anyway, I forgot to explain some of our other tools. This is dire the directional microphone. It lets you hear things that are f further away. So we, you could you could hear that snake rustling. Here's our new uh, our new gun, the M1911. And which you have mercilessly killed a snake with. Yeah, so? You're just mean to wildlife. All I'm saying. Okay, so we also got this thing called the AP sensor. It's uh, kind of useless for LPs because it just makes the controller vibrate when people are nearby. And you can't <laughs> actually tell because this is po recorded in post. The motion detector detects motion on the radar. And the sonar will... When you click down the left stick, it'll send out a little ping and it'll tell you about where things are in relation to you. Yes. So does the sonar only use a battery when you ping? Uh, I don't think so, because like it has to keep the uh, display up too. Yeah, but your battery does seem like it's going down. Nah, that's true. Well, I mean, it, I'm pretty sure the thing just doesn't really use up battery that much. No. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of all... A lot. I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of the stuff I don't want, and I'm going to... Actually, I don't remember what I'm going to do here. <laughs> Getting rid of food. No, I'm adding food to my inventory. That's what it was. So that you can then eat it. Yeah, they give you nine suppressors with the M1911A1. Wow. I can just imagine somebody walking around with like nine barrels strapped to their strapped to their chest. Well, I mean, we got plenty of bags. We got we got space for this. Uh, well, I mean, silencers are generally pretty big. Are they? I don't yeah. know that much about guns. So. Well, I mean, like, okay, so you see, like, the photo at the bottom right? Yeah. And, and like, that... So, you notice how, like, the, the silencer, like, the big portion on the front of the pistol, and then there's, like, a, a line, and it curves out, like, close to... Like, it, it kind of, like, squeezes out. Uh-huh. At, at one point near the middle, that's, like, where the barrel, the barrel ends and the silencer starts. I see. So you've got, like... I don't know, judging by the photo, like, four inches, three, four inches of, of silencer. Oh, I gotcha. And then, like, it has to be, it's it's wider, it's, like, it's thicker than the barrel itself, or at least as hmm. thick as. So, like, that thing gets pretty big if you're carrying ten of them. I see. Yeah. Also, that cliff is a point of no return, so, um, once you jump down, you can't go back, so if you miss any keratins up there, you're screwed. And you totally did. I never I'll... said I was going to get all the keratins. No, I know. You specifically said you weren't, but I'm still disappointed in you. <laughs> also, another thing I want to, uh, I want to say, um, when I threw a stun grenade earlier, that was to demonstrate that stun grenades are a re- or just grenades in general are a really good way to go hunting. Well, they got a, like, a pretty wide area of effect, don't they? Yes, exactly. Uh... <clears throat> Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Surprise! It's the boss. Shooter. Boss. Shooter. Your arm still hurt? End your mission. Hey, <laughs> where's my suppressor? <laughs> what are you doing here? <coughs> Missed a great opportunity for like, does it hurt every day? <laughs> uh, we're still out. a, we're still a scrub though. <laughs> Now without a gun. You know, that's really rude. It's a perfectly good gun. Yeah, like once you start like taking out springs and the little little metal attachments and whatnot, really sucks. Mm. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. <laughs> then, you still have a knife. <laughs> then he gets up and flexes. <laughs> I got these guns. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've got no hope against the boss right now. <laughs> There's nothing Man, I kind of want to see, like, how a live-action movie would no tackle Go back to you, the, the CQC in this game. There's no need oh, I kind of want to see that, too, actually. This isn't America. So, this is the boss's gun. It's, um, <laughs> a modified M16 
well, the XM16 uh, E1. It's got a shorter stock, so it's about as... It's a machine pistol, basically. <laughs> I like how the bullets... <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like shoot out at weird angles and then rotate to start going straight. Yeah, like this thing has a really short barrel, so I'm gonna assume it can't. The, st the bullets don't stay very on a stable path for very long. Also, no, it's there. <laughs> it's like it, it just that's not how bullets work. No, I I, I don't know. It's yeah. just cool. <laughs> Like, I I'm just gonna say, like, unless you have a problem with the gun, your, your gun, your bullets should not be, like, shooting at 90 <laughs> de degree angles <laughs> and then rotating. Unless, unless they hit something in flight. What's it going to be? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the boss's gun. She shot that for a while and without reloading. Your duty to your unit or your personal That's because she, for that. It's because she's got a sea bag. <laughs> Drum mags are awesome, by the way. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. Okay, I want I want the thread to come up with what emotion would Snake bring into the battlefield. Uh I'm gonna go with confusion because he's always asking questions. That's a good one. I was thinking the hunger, but hunger is not really an emotion. <laughs> Uh, the glutton? Well, no, that's more a sin. Um, you won't survive long. I don't know, you could figure something out. The greedy. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it greedy. I'll kill you. Well, greedy in the sense that he just wants more food. <laughs> yeah, but like, couldn't you just apply the same thing to hunger? That's well, yeah. I mean, I I say we go with the hunger, and it really goes well with my idea of Uncharted. Snake as Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just running around super fat. Major zero. Camo index is always zero. I was ambushed by the boss. He can't crawl. <laughs> the drone's been shot to hell. <laughs> he just rolls. Not good. Enemy mm. scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgan, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. Yeah, you could easily it. bug no, Khrushchev's office. Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, like, that's just because Khrushchev isn't with Volgan doesn't mean he can't get info from him. Yeah. Especially if he's got, you know, guys on the inside. Yeah, exactly. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably <clears throat> already been sent out to investigate the explosion. Yeah, I'm getting interested in the story again. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to like, rewatch these afterwards and be like, oh, do, man, this is great. Let them see it really does touch on a lot, a lot of the same topics that James Bond has been a part of. Mm. So, uh, anyway, the boss made a big ru ruckus, so, uh, there's a couple guys coming this way. So, I'm gonna get ready for him. <laughs> What's this? Huh? One cool thing about stun grenades is if you look away from them, you don't actually get stunned yourself. And just like that, we've taken care of the two guards. <laughs> Uh, this is, I believe, the third screen of the game, you know, where, um, where I held up the guy and made him do a couple dances. Right. So, uh, if you wanted to, I think you'd go back all the way to where you lost your, uh, backpack way in the beginning of the game. And I think you have to if you, um, go, if you want all the keratins. So could you, like, oh, I guess you can't. You know, leave your bag the first time around, and then go no, grab it. They, no, they make you go get your bag. Dang, that'd be kind of cool. Like, if you miss it, it's still there. Yeah. Then again, I guess you couldn't, like, you wouldn't really be able to do the first part. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there aren't any more guys over here, so... It's just a pretty painless waltz right up to Dolino Vodno. Yeah, they're all, they're all asleep, man. Gotta... It's nighttime. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're in the middle of Russia. How many secret agents could possibly show up and infiltrate? 
That's true. Uh, down there, there's another guard? And now that we don't have a gun, you actually have to sneak past him. I mean... Since you can't do the hornet thing. Well, you could also, like, run up to him, couldn't you? Well, I mean, if he's turned around this way, I can't do that. You could, like, tackle him? Or is it, like, as soon as you get caught, it's over? As soon as I get caught, he's gonna... I'm gonna be in alert mode. And I don't want that, because I am unarmed. Right, right. Aside from a dinky little knife. But, uh, if you use the D-pad, you will stalk. So you will be, uh, super quiet, and no one can hear you. And I believe you can't actually be heard if you roll while stalking. Sure. If you slide down cliffs, you won't take any damage. He sounds like Robert Atkin Downs. Uh, you mean uh, Miller? Yes. Yeah. Let go of me. Because what are you doing here? Slide down cliffs. You won't. I didn't know you were in Russia, Kaz. <laughs> I was really You're... curious to see if I could shove him off the cliff, but I can't. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> but, uh, if you are dragging a dude, you can just drop him down. Ah, uh, wow, you're an ass. Oh, oh, uh, is there an X-16 prototype? No, not uh... anymore. There is something else down there, though. Or at least there's that. Just gotta be careful about the bridge because it's narrow, <laughs> a little windy. <laughs> it's not as bad as Metal Gear Solid 3D though, where the bridge is gyroscopic too. Oh, uh, that kind of that kind of sucks. Yeah. So like it's like a, your your own challenge run. Uh, you just gotta make it stay straight. Anyway, can uh, you can you get on the bridge and then like shake it while a, while an enemy is on it and watch him fly off? I think? I know you can cut the ropes and uh, freak them out a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we got a new um, camo pattern, the raindrop. Uh, it's not going to get too much use because um, there's not a lot of places where it is actually useful. <laughs> but I'll show it off this uh, this update. Uh, there's a guy coming down this way and uh, I'd rather not confront him if possible, so... Uh, the Adventures of Snake. One thing I really wish Metal Gear Solid 3 HD did was um, incorporate some of the stuff from um, Metal Gear Solid 4 or Peace Walker, like Metal Gear Solid 3D did. Falling. Like crouch walking. Hmm. Wait, you can't crouch walk in this game? Nope. Oh, that was that a thing sucks. you can do starting from Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh. And this is just a straight port, unlike uh, Metal Gear Solid 3D, which is a... Um, Enhanced port. Right, right. So, if you just um, hold down circle and move the stick, you can walk around with dudes. Can you do the very funny, like, constant choke? I don't think you can anymore. Uh, just like. Duh, 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 duh. If you um, really press down hard on circle, you will slit their throat. I, but, yeah. I hope he comes back to haunt you. Uh, I'd that, be okay if he didn't. That man and his innocent life. All he was doing was watching a bridge. Like his partner that you so ruthlessly threw off a cliff. They owed me money, okay? <laughs> this is you don't pay me back. <laughs> they were on your hit list. Yeah. Like, they were, they're your enemy, Snake. So, now we're back in Rossbit, and, uh, Rossbit is completely empty. Just like Major Zero said it would be. <laughs> so we can just run around and explore and find a bunch of cool stuff to play with. Oh boy. There's no shotgun there anymore. Ah. Uh. I don't think there's a gun up here either. I could be wrong, though. Wait, no, I'm wrong. There's an AK up here. <laughs> Look, I'm kind of expecting AK-47s to be everywhere. Well, it's, I mean, they are. I mean, it's Russia, after all. The it, It's the XM-16 that's weird and out of place here. <laughs> no, it's because, you see, boss, it was the bosses, but she dropped it accidentally. Okay, fine. Uh, Really quick, I just wanted to go down here so I could get a rat, because uh, on this file, I don't think I caught a rat at this point. 
I'm not gonna try or go out of my way to go for 100% animals or and uh, fauna, but I will get new animals if I um, happen to notice that I don't have them yet. You should totally go for 100% animals. I have a file where I have the rewards, so I'll show that off. Oh, okay. Good. How many times did you have to, like, play through this entire game to get, like, 100% on a lot of stuff? You can actually just do it the first run through. Really? Anyway, yeah. This game is really easy to get everything for, if you, even if you're playing it, like, very easy. Huh. You can get a pure platinum, or platinum trophy just on uh, one go, and, uh... We have a sea box. The best. Yeah, the sea box is great. So, what's your favorite sea box in this game? Uh, you only get two. Aww. Uh, I kind of like A a little bit more, but we're not gonna get into Y until much later. <laughs> but uh, here it is, the sea box. It's uh used a lot in speed runs because it completely ignores like uh hills. <laughs> So, normally when you run up a hill, Snake is a little bit slower, but in the sea box, he just doesn't care, and he goes at normal speed. It's because when he's in the box, he can't see hills, right? Like, everything becomes flat to him, so... <laughs> okay. There's one area where I hope I can do something really cool with this, the, the cardboard box, and uh, we got new face camo, too, so let's go take a look at that and our new um, camouflage. Zombie face plate and raindrop camo. I'm curious as to like colors included in raindrop. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't I don't quite get why brown is in there. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Come on, Snake, you can do it. <laughs> you seem it seems like it's kinda awkward to get either like climb stuff or like position yourself on certain flat areas. It is. Like, you were having some issues on getting into the cardboard box. Yeah. Is that, is that like, a thing that normally comes up with this game? Uh, not too often. Uh, here's a mine detector. You can use it to detect mines, <laughs> I guess. It's not I'm, too important, but... I was kind of hoping that there would be, like, the Konami would have put, like, a mine somewhere to kind of, <laughs> like... Oh, well, you should have used the mine detector. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can also get the thermal goggles here for Snake Eater or Operation Snake Eater. You can find them in Virtuous Mission elsewhere, like I showed in a bonus video. Hmm. And uh, I'm going to break that window just um, for reasons that will become clear very shortly. Oh, boy. But uh, we can't actually proceed unless we leave the door to Sokolov's room normally. Uh-oh. <laughs> so that's why I have to come back. <laughs> That's a weird limitation.